So it's a scam. You've scammed children. I've done nothing. <laughs> I've done nothing. you hear about the Willy Wonka chocolate factory scam? Yes, the person who f***ing busted this Willy Wonka chocolate factory scam is a Hasanabi. Nanam, people are calling this the new fire festival moment, but for kids. It's Willy's chocolate experience. It was sold to parents as a wonderful little event to bring your kids to in Glasgow, Scotland. You got an enchanted garden, an imagination lab, the twilight tunnel, and even captivating Glasgow. entertainment. Now, you may notice that all of these pictures are AI generated, which might raise some red flags, as it should. A pass dice of sweet teats. I don't know exactly what that means, but uh, something tells me they're going to fleece you for all the money you have. Pretty quickly, that's exactly what happened when parents paid their hard-earned money to get uh -huh. this expectation and this reality, uh, basically an empty warehouse that they put a few little ropes and a little sad poster on the wall that doesn't even fit. What is this? CoffeeZilla is a bit compromised due to KSI shooting back. Wait, why? What did KSI do? I don't know what happened with CoffeeZilla versus KSI. I haven't really been keeping up with CoffeeZilla stuff lately. I remember your statement about AI bros not having any creativity, and I cannot think of more of a perfect example. KSI is a scammer who got exposed. KSI stands are seething. He did like a semi-rug pull. Really? Not KSI. No. Willy Wonka's experience scam had only one Oompa Loompa, and they show this very sad actor uh, who looks like she's doing some kind of a meth science experiment, which I saw a lot of people hating on her, and you have to understand, these people got scammed as much as anybody, maybe more than anyone, these actors... They showed up thinking they were going to, you know, entertain a bunch of kids, and instead they get this. But I do have a bit of beef to pick with all the people. Is anyone really surprised that KSI is a piece of shit, Lamau? Yes, I am. I feel like he's, like, one of those content creators overall. Like, sure, he's besties with Logan Paul, but I always thought that he was, like, at least one of those content creators, like, that is from the old guard that has maintained, like, a relatively stable brand that isn't, like, insane... Wait, actually, I've always known that KSI has been a piece of shit. Honestly, my metric as a content creator myself for who's a piece of shit is probably distorted for two reasons. One, because virtually every content creator can be made to be a piece of shit, especially if you've been a content creator for a long enough time. And two, content creators are often ginormous pieces of shit. Um, the first one, obviously, I'm referring to myself. If you ask random, depending on which circles of the internet you ask about me, there will be a sea of information readily available about how much of a demon and a monster i am so i always take that with a grain of salt and two i'm basically comparing him to like logan paul and the like which is why i always feel like it's uh you know like so many youtubers are like outed as abusers and shit that like the bar is high to clear actually if you look at the website they never say Willy Wonka. Instead, they call it Willy's Chocolate Experience. And as you might imagine, that's because of the copyright implications. And if you look at the actual script, you find out that internally, they weren't calling him Willy Wonka. They just wanted you to think that by calling it Willy's Chocolate Experience. They actually called him Willy McDuff. That's right. They used an AI script generator to oh not God. only create the AI art, but also the script behind their whole dumb scheme. I don't get it. Like, why don't you just use like 10 extra minutes to like work the script? You were supposed to look at my gigantic tweet about this. I did. I, I even gave you props. I said, a Hassan head is the one who broke this story. But like going back to my previous point, it, it can't take that long to just like clean it up. I don't get it. Like, I understand guys are AI scammer, but like, why don't you just like go in there and like fix it a little bit? 10 minutes, man. 10 minutes. You don't have 10 extra minutes to like change the words around a little bit. They really didn't put too much attention to like how they were going to dress this guy up. Instead of having some grand reveal with this anti graffiti gobstopper or whatever, instead they tell a guy with a uh, little cloak and a mask on just hide behind a mirror and let that work which seemed to do nothing except traumatize the kids who were unfortunate enough to be there. What is that? It's the end of... No. no. You can see the kids crying in the background. Traumatized no. from what really should be our supervillain. This guy looks like something straight out of the actual void. Look how sad of a scene this is. You can see that this wonky doodle is probably disappointed in herself as it is and the disappointments just continue the chocolate river doesn't move at all 
it's way overcrowded. And the actual refreshments, I think some of which you had to buy. Bro, is there nothing going on in Glasgow that they <laughs> Everybody congregated to this one area, it seems. Oompa Loompa Lady is mother. New mother picks just dropped. <laughs> oh, no. The company behind this operates in the U.S. as Lighthouse Immersive. And they do equally shitty interactive shows. What is this? Apologies to anyone who attended my Dune experience. I was let down by suppliers at the last minute. And I'm very sorry. <laughs> I, it looks like they didn't have enough of. Like they're running out clearly. They went to <coughs> Walmart right before this. And there you can see the sad cups of lemonade that each kid got. Having the scary made up character is hilarious to me. Willy Wonka and his factory was the scary thing in the original. They should just made the Tunnel of Terror instead. They would have had lines out the door. What did this guy say? Billy Cool, the organizer behind the widely criticized Willy's Chocolate Experience speaks out. I'm really shocked that the event had fallen short of the expectations of people on paper. My vision of the artistic rendition of a well-known book didn't come to fruition. For that, I am absolutely, truly, and utterly sorry. Bro's vision was not a vision at all. Bro was blind. I mean, this was truly a breathtaking scam. As I said, really on par with the Fire Festival. I mean, this is basically sums up what the Willy's Chocolate Experience was. And obviously, this set the internet on fire. People were furious. Everyone wanted to know, like, who can we make pay for this? I, I think they claim that they're going to offer refunds for this. We'll see if they actually pay out. I don't think the actors have been paid a dime yet. And I don't think they will be. So they're probably the big. I think fire was definitely worse than this. No one's flying the Glasgow for the for the Willy Wonka experience in the same way that they flew to like a natural disaster, basically. But this guy uses ChatGPT for his entire life story. He claims on his Instagram to be an enigmatic wordsmith. But I think that was also produced by ChatGPT because you can see here his, is his Amazon writing profile, this enigmatic wordsmith. And all of it is basically AI garbage. You can see that, but it's all zero stars, one star. All of the cover art is clearly AI. And then all the comments also say they're terrible books. <clears throat> like there are people dumber than this guy, though, the guy who made all this. It's the people that have bought it. Like who the f would voluntarily buy an AI book? We have full refunds starting from Monday. We'll no, get a no, no. Refund. I'm going to call the police. I'm gonna call the police. No, 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 Is that no. why you don't have pictures up of your stuff? No. It's actual full shuttle no. stuff. Can put up. No, no. He's like, I'm sorry, I don't have a chat GPT to help me m navigate through this conversation. Artificial intelligence, you know, to generate. So, user that fake? No, absolutely. User that fake? That's why you don't advertise exactly what the thing is about. That's what I said. There's not enough information about yeah. it on Facebook. So nothing. And on the web. I didn't know. Like, nothing. Is that why you tie your bouncers? Because you knew you, we were all going to no, kick off? No, these guys, you know, these guys are like the caretakers of the building. The building? Yeah, like, they're the building people. So, and you've got all this. So, why is he so? Yeah. I'm glad that he didn't cheap out on the f***ing security, it seems. Oh, no, 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 thank you. No, nothing. So, it's a scam. You've scammed children. I've done nothing. Uh, <laughs> I've done nothing. These are scammed kids. That's what they've done. It's a total scam. If you could start using they, because I'm fuck out with David and I'm on that camera and you're pointing at me and you're accusing me. <laughs> the, bu the bouncer. The bouncer. He gave up. It's like, start using they. Because I'm not with them. So you're, 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 you're part of the venue. I've been hired off the venue. No, no, you so again, for bro, did he eat all the f candy? Is that why there was no candy left? Why is his mouth like that? I had all the candy. No child will have a candy because I had all of them. No more left for the children. So again, for the purposes of quality, the but he's for the company. Oh, he's he's for the company. I eat the company that that, that, that woman. Thank you for your time. Do you think you're going to get rid of us? If you want to the cure, I won't hear be people, parents and their children. Oh, you're lucky you're writing. 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 You're lucky you're writing.